Oh, are you saying hello and welcome? Welcome back to Ed and Mel. Well, it's that time again. Time for trimming some paws. Yep. As you can tell, Wallace got recently uh, a haircut. So did B. If you yep. see her peeking in the corner there. Well, oh. Yeah, yeah, got their summer coats on. We got all that hair shaved off. Mm -hmm. They were getting pretty sweaty, uncomfortable. And yeah, so usually, typically, when you bring it to the groomers, yep. they shave all his hair off, but they usually don't get in between their paws. Yeah, in between, pads. in the pads there. So um, today we're going to do that, and here we go. Sometimes, I guess you can request them to do it, but they hadn't done it. They did not do it for B or Wallace. Yeah, and we didn't always ask them to either. So, anyway, Wallace's back feet is usually where we start first Correct. because a little more challenging. And he can kick pretty good. As and you'll why? See. Why does he kick? Because he is a mega ticklish on his back feet. Yeah, his back two feet are super ticklish, as you can see him jerking. Uh, yes, he will literally pull his feet away. He doesn't hurt them. It just it tickles when you get worse even as you start getting him inside his his pads. Correct. He really doesn't like it. So what we usually start with is you just go along the very top and trim all the really obviously long hairs. Mm -hmm. You do oh, that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> do that before you start diving deep into the pad. Yeah, so you can see what you're doing. So you're not working through a bunch of hair. Just take a quick zip right across the, the surface of the pads. Uh-huh. Good to go. Yeah, Wallace's back feet are super, yeah. super ticklish. So typically you can pull this, well, not typically, you can pull his pads apart. Mm -hmm. That does not hurt him. Just like Ed's doing um, right there. Obviously you're not going to pull on them too hard, but they do, if you kind of put your foot or your fingers on the outside of their pads and push in and then take your thumb and pull out, it kind of makes mm -hmm. it. And kind of it separate. pushes it up so yeah. you can get all the hair in the bottom. Separate the little yeah, kind of like I'm doing fingers, there. so to speak, and then just very gently. Yeah. Wallace is enjoying it. When yeah. he licks like that, that means he's super enjoying whatever you're doing. He loves getting. Oh, he's very ticklish. Like Aaron, <laughs> especially if you run your fingers right in the very depths of his pads, he's super ticklish. But he loves it after you get it done. So now that I'm working, I'm getting all the outside done, and now I'm on the inside, you can get some of those. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sometimes doing a voiceover is hard. Okay. <clears throat> so as you can see, I've got most of the mats out. Oh, Wallace. And Wallace is... He's taking a little... He's yeah, giving a little make, kiss. He's saying, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> making, sure I'm, making sure I'm doing a good job in there. Quality control. Trimming pads is very important. I mean, if if you let that hair grow in Wallace, in an old English sheepdog's case, the hair just keeps continuing. It grow grows and grows and grow grows. And, grow. and what happens is that hair will mat in between the pads, and it's very uncomfortable. It would be like walking around with a stone in your yeah, shoe. Perfect. Exactly. Perfect analogy. Yep. And sometimes... Uh, if you notice that the hair in between, like the bottom of the pads is red, that just indicates that the dog's actually been trying to pull the mat out. Uh -huh, with his teeth and mouth. And... Yeah, because it's it's uncomfortable for him. So it's a good indication that you should probably trim up that hair in between the pads yeah, of your dog. You don't. And if you lived in an area, if you live in an area where there's snow, also with all that hair, um, snow tends to mat up. Um, especially when it gets the springtime and the snow yep. starts to get sticky. Actually, and um, snow will ball to it and it makes like little ice balls. So yes. when they walk, yeah, it gets really cold because there's a bunch of ice like wedged in between their pads. So mm -hmm. clearing it out just helps to like eliminate anything from yeah. sitting in there longer than it has to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've had that before when we, when we lived in, in Winnipeg and you would physically have to like just warm your hands. With barley, yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in your hands or take some warm water and just dunk it in there look at him looking at he just loves mm -hmm. it oh he's mm -hmm. kicking because it's so ticklish but Wallace really mm -hmm. really does love when he his does. He doesn't pads bother. are nice and trimmed up and as you can tell he just he's super chill mm -hmm. about it like he'll just we've done it so many times he's like okay I'm ready and he does not mind and we got this new razor which is 
absolutely fantastic. Yeah, my mom, who yeah. uh, breeds corgis, she does a oh, lot of this one. trimming. This one's pretty hairy. See, there you go. I get to all the top there stuff. No, 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 no. Okay. And just go, kind of go along the surface. Anyway, it's her razor, actually. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah that's, wow. We're, we're trying it out. Because what we use is actually just a cheap one from Walmart for, like, men's faces. Yeah. This is actually meant for animals. Oh, the dog's just... Uh, Got a lot of emotion here. Yeah, it started playing in Chasing the background. Them, I think. You might hear them. All, all right. right. So now you got all that off. Again, you want to go into the inside of the start with the inside of the pads and get all that clumped hair out. Yeah. So you've done the tops. Now you start getting in deep. Yeah. Start getting on the side of the pads. So it, well, it really it does like help if you like... grab the individual toe, mm -hmm. especially if your dog has a ticklish foot like Wallace here. Correct. His front ones aren't ticklish, surprisingly, but his back no, too. No, once you Ooh. see when you get to his front, it's totally 180. Look He's at him trying chill. to kick. <laughs> so yeah, so, so you kind of lock his legs tickle. together like that. Um, definitely don't pull on him and hurt him or anything. but No, but you want to be secure because you yeah. are you do have a razor. Yeah, like you, you don't want to be cutting yeah. them. You don't want to kick forward. Oh, look at B. Oh, She's B. making sure quality yeah. control. Again, yep. Yeah. The real boss comes in. Okay, yep, yep, okay, all good here. <laughs> oh, she looks like such a different dog with a haircut. I know, I know. <laughs> oh, she jumped on the couch. Aw. Wallace looks like he's sleeping. I know, pretty much. He's so chill, he loves it. He was really due for a pad. Oh, he was. He was. Yeah, we got him cut about a, two weeks ago, a week and a half. Yeah, we honestly, when we dropped them off, I wasn't sure if they were going to do the pads. Sometimes they do, sometimes they didn't. But this time they hadn't, which was great because, you know what, it's a good opportunity for us to share a bit of knowledge with uh, with you. In case you were thinking, you know, if you're anything like the majority of the world right now and you're stuck at home, you may find yourself with your furry friend and he may have some furry pads. Aaron's just gone to fill up Wallace's uh, water dish. <laughs> but yeah. So what you do is once you are got majority of the hair out, you just really open it up and try to fine tune it. You don't need to get every single hair. And it's understandable if your dog isn't as patient as Wallace because like I said, he's done this numerous times. Yeah, he's... He's a seasoned pro. He's still pretty ticklish, but... And again, you don't want to get too far on the side or above the the pads because the you'll pad. start getting bald spots in between the nails, especially if they have long hair. Mm -hmm. um, if you want to get the full old English sheep effect when he has full hair... Um, you definitely don't want to cut too far outside of his pad because you'll get bolts. Yeah, bolts actually, we did a on one of our outside. first videos was a a pad trimming. It was a long time ago. Yeah, back when we lived in California. And, he's still, yeah, well, he's and still I'll add he's... a link. Uh, I'll add a link here if you want to click it at the top of the screen. But You're he has pretty. a don't lot. Don't judge us. That was a long time ago. It was <laughs> one of our first videos, but his Wallace's hair was a lot longer. And just to show you um, how far, like how to do it with a yes. little bit longer hair dog. Uh, yeah, not full length, but... No, but um, it was definitely, like he's yeah, freshly shaven here. Inches. Yeah, not like this. This is... This you're able to see a lot more though. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of, oh, excuse me. I didn't put my phone on mute. Jeez. So there you go. I'm almost done here on the back feet. No, um, we're just... on the front foot now. Oh, are we? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, you just Ed, you're excused because you went and filled up Wallace's <laughs> dish. No, we've Jeez. moved on to the uh, front. As you can see, how easy the front is. I know he may even fall yeah. asleep at one point. Yeah, he's he's very very chill. Mhm. Mm he's nice and relaxed. Oh, I dropped my razor. So all in all, it takes like. 15 minutes to do all four pads. Yeah, well, this is real time. Yeah, uh, it's very, very quick to do. And, yeah, the better tool you have, 
Yeah. The well, faster it goes. What did? How did you find this um, cutter compared to our Phillips? Oh wow! Like day and night, <laughs> day and night. Like this. Yeah. You can tell. We'll definitely this was... leave a link below of what the brand is. Um, yeah. Off the top of my head, I can't think. But I will. I think it's like an Aries or something like that. But anyway, we'll we'll put a link down if you want to buy one. Yeah, we'll my mom. There. This is like I said, my mom. She's a corgi breeder uh, up here in Canada, and she loves this tool. She actually suggested that we try it out, and we thought, heck. Yeah, we gave it a whirl, and it's actually made for grooming, not mm -hmm. humans. Like <laughs> I know we but, do. We do need to yeah. upgrade, so we'll leave a link uh, below. Oh, yeah. If you are interested in checking this one out, I we highly recommend. We it. highly recommend it. Very, very. And nice. so does my mom. Yeah, and it's uh, cordless. You just put it on a little stand. Yeah, it charges, charges up. Quick and. And one charge uh, did all, all four easily. Yeah, and with easily. our Phillips, like our old charger yeah. that we used previous, well, you'll see if you click the old video. It takes um, a couple. You actually, ha it only does two paws, and then you have to stop for an hour and charge it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so it's probably better to get a yeah. equipment that's made for what for the it's, dogs. Yes, I know yeah. it's a lot more money. Like I think we paid. I don't know. Look, I have no idea. We I think we paid fifteen dollars yeah. for the one from Walmart. Sorry. I'm not sure how much this one is. Again, I'll link it below. Check it out. But yeah, as you can see, it works really good. All right, we're on the last paw. Last paw. Yeah, trim the the last. Side. Oh, look at he's kind of ticklish up here. Yeah, too. Oh. No, he's not bad. No, but it definitely, you can tell. I feel how good it was, and it does not even barely, like, it will not make his skin at all. It he's just, He was definitely due for a trimming, though. Oh, yeah. He was due. You can see. Look see, this is, this is a good indication, like, he was matted. You know, the red hair. Mm hmm He was licking. Yeah, he was uncomfortable. Poor little Almost. guy. Or bad. But he is all clear now. Look at him. He's like. Come on. Get her done. Oh, he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, th I really do think he likes. So we would love to day. hear what you guys use to trim uh, the pads of your dogs. In the past, I've actually used scissors. Yeah, no, we did. Right? In a pinch. It's very, it's very sketchy if they're, especially if they're ticklish. Well, if you, if your dog is and, calm, like yeah. after a walk, we used to. Uh -huh. One slip and it's gonzo padzo. Well, it was never that big of scissors. No. They were never that sharp, but. Now look at how good these work. Yeah, like, we zip, slowly zip. upgraded and. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Your dog will be way more comfortable when their hair isn't matted in between mm -hmm. their pads. Yeah, and it goes really quick. Mm -hmm. And the more you do it, the more relaxed and chill they're going to mm -hmm. be. And yes, it doesn't take long. Less than 15 minutes to do all four. And these ones, and all four, because Wallace's were definitely these needing it. good, yeah. This is, this is a pretty good trim. Mm -hmm. Quite a bit of hair. Look at him. He's like falling asleep. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's... I. We are so blessed to have Wallace. He's an amazing, an amazing dog. Mm hmm And then we got B, like, and she's just as cool as Wallace. Yep. And actually, we were gonna do B's, but her, the hair between her paw pads yeah. weren't bad. No. And she was a little no, no, no. skittish. Look at so there it. we go. This is what it is. This is the razor. It's an Andis. Andis. A N D I S. Huh. So look it up. We'll put a link below. We'll put a link below with the model yeah. number. It's a, it's a D. And also, we want to uh, highly encourage anyone, if you have any questions, because we're going to be doing a Q&A. Uh, yeah, coming, coming up in one of these videos. So, so definitely leave them below. Um, any question doesn't have to be about grooming pads of your no, dog. No, it, it could be anything Old English Sheepdog related or yeah. any questions you may have for Ed and I. We'd yeah, love to anything. hear them. So, yeah, we want to do... Uh, a Q and A. So give us some questions. Q Q's to A. Yeah. Q's to A. I guess uh -huh. on that note, we will. Uh... So yeah, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. I hope this taught you a little bit of something about trimming the paw hair that's matted between the pads. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, 
and we'll see you at the next video. Show some love in the comments and yeah, stay safe out there with this whole virus crazy crap going on. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.